This is so much greed if you take this Kassadin pick here because you're playing against Nazir who is the pushing, punishing player in the LCK and Chovy. He's going to take the edges that Azir has in the early game of this matchup and punish you hard, non-stop, constant pressure. And you have a Wukong to follow up. Zekka's going to have a lot of trouble in the early game. But you had the Kalista, which is a pushing lane, like the one that Viper and Life are trying to run. Guys. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of damage at this level one, but the potent Varus Ash lane. It's just what they're gonna do. Heal used early by Delight. Another Proceed. reward. <laughs> Very nicely done, and that's gonna uh, start off with the ghost here as he is trying to force this flash out of Doran. Nearby <laughs> after that biscuit. As here we go, ghost popped once again. King going in for the dive. Doran in a bit of trouble as he does not have his flash back up. This is looking pretty elementary as that will be the first blood given over to Kingen in the solo kill as no snipe comes out from Viper onto the light. Yeah, Peanut really wants to ult and turn this and punish this plate attempt, oh but look boy. at the damage. Uh, <laughs> just kind of walked up and almost died as the culling comes out here. Viper to playing into a safe lane for Nar and just leaving him on an island. You know, we don't always trust it's going to go well, but when it's Doran, who's a very aggressive player and this is a defensive uh, champion that actually wins all-ins defensively and actually is normally how Kasante gets kills. Against Doran, you feel pretty good about King's chances, right? Yeah. yeah. Or... Guma Carrier had some skirmishes. Okay, this time oh Doran's going in. And the flash is down, and it doesn't matter anyway. Doran is just getting kind of rocked up here. King in his back in form for this game, and Doran does not know what to do. Yeah, he went in deep and got punished. I believe, though. Very nice. Viper does not care. As the arrow will hit, and Pay's just barely going to survive. Clid is here. How he many lives this. are destroying them? <laughs> like, this is insane. Yeah, they, this is... I, I, I don't know oh, what to man. say, guys. Pay's has to cleanse. Yeah, cleanse. I mean, Viper could have even tried to go for a flash. I mean, this Kong is, a, is right there. This is a turret. Unless they TP, Chovy. Okay, Peanut comes down, gets a couple of flashes, but guess who's here? I lose it's, mine, so... <laughs> I'll just go bot, I guess. Doran is so far up in, in this lane because the wave state is terrible for him. He can't actually yeah. farm the minions, so... How did that happen? I said he was going in, but he was really just trying to get farm. He jumped at this fight a little bit late, but he is just denied any opportunity. 20 CS up on the top lane, 40 CS up bottom. Big plate gold. Oh, Paze has to... Okay, I mean... Please give me old uh -oh. pieces. Oh, Ignite, guess what? That's okay gonna be forced to use that looks like Zeko is on cooldown as King is going in. I don't know about that one, but he's looking for the kill. He nearly gets Doran. He bought one of those generators. He's playing like a PlayStation 5 in there. <laughs> yeah. He's got <laughs> he's, like a recliner he's somehow. Got AC and heating in there, man. Because <laughs> look at where he is while this is happening. Peanut's like, I know they're camping bot, so I'm gonna make something happen. And by the way, top and like, like I think I got, got him. Top. If we're careful. Yeah. It's kind of a thank God sound is what that means, yeah. but actually so critical in this game because if you have Maokai, you can actually ult this Varus Ash lane, but Wukong cannot close the gap because he will be arrowed or chained of corruption um, or blocked by Clid, so he doesn't have a lot of power on that bottom side. Okay, that was denied. The hop is kind of funny. As Okay, that's a lot of CC though as Peanut will follow up. Life goes down once again. Second Cyclone is huge and Zekka doesn't quite have the damage just yet to follow up on this one. Genji find an excellent fight as it looked like Doran got caught, but no, he was just baiting them in. It's like... My question. As the arrow is going to hit in the back line, Doran has to flash away from the Chains of Corruption. Both sides have a decent amount of CC, but Helma Life more so as played in the front line. We'll get that ult onto Peanut, who nearly will survive, nearly gets sniped as Pace goes in. Not sure about that, buddy. Uh, hmm. Very, very far forward, and Kingen is, is an unkillable. I die. You want to ultimate the Oh, pit. nice from Doran. Gets over the wall. Gets the Cassidy in as well as they're trying to lock down Zekka, and they will. And Kingen will also go down. Doran just immediately gets spanked in lane. Doesn't matter. Pulls it immediately back in the lane. Oh, and say, you can have one Infernal. I'm not going to fight for this. Yeah. And then they still win it off of a huge follow up overextension from Hayes. 
Yeah, this Haze was wants not to chase Clid, and that's a huge <laughs> mistake. So they win the fight, and then with the King in rotation over here, he's a little bit too late to push Doran into the pit. Wants to get the long wall pushed to the right side there to isolate him, but in fact, puts him in range oh. here to grab two. Big error here, but Doran capitalizes well, and Genji eventually, without illusion, win this fight. This is one of those games where the top laner loses lane really hard, but then he just plays immaculately in the team fights. Uh, Doran yeah. and Genji have full map control in a Baron buff. And how life just playing? How many times can we fight before Rod is done for the Cassid? And not a game you want to play. Clint is going to get caught here. As you know, he's very tanky, but not tanky enough. Not against a super supremely fed Chovy Azir King in. So he has the protection. He can just uh -oh. warp over. <laughs> Will Doran die is the question. It is three on two, and Peanut's doing a pretty decent job on the King in. As now Peace will get over here first. Nice knock up to stop the culling. Not gonna matter. The setup the Zeka doesn't have TP, so they are definitely giving this up. So Jinji say, okay, you thought we were just gonna group on Jake Drake uh -oh. and push it. <laughs> yeah. Peanut. Okay, here he goes again. He's looking for Viper. Very nice teams come in and Viper's just railing into him, but Jinji's a tiger, it's clearly a snake. Oh boy, Zeka. He's eating damage from Baron too. Is to use these ash arrows and hawk shots. It's gonna be difficult. Life is just melted as he has to flash away from this one. Clid has to play the front line. And they get nothing with the with King on the side, unfortunately. It's Krugs. <laughs> Krugs for Baron. Um, but they, so Pace has Cleanse, and also Delight has Mikhail's. So, yeah. you gotta use that CC, but you gotta use it a lot. It's gotta be a bunch, it's, as Peanut can solo Zekka, so. Need to use it here to find a pit. Where's the follow-up? Okay, well, Viper is gonna go down, it's, oh man, a double kill as Pace just gets in there, and Zekka can't do anything. Just immediately melted as Clint is ulting the wave, I guess. Doesn't matter, as his team is just gone already. That is gonna do it for game number three. Gen G with triple Infernal and super fed Jovi alongside a Pace, who eventually hit his spikes and did insane amounts of damage. A little bit anticlimactic, but Gen G were in the lead the whole way since the mid game, and they are going to take down this Nexus. Torin with the claps. OP scaling champion. I, I don't think it would have mattered at all. And Pays makes these plays at the end. He's, by the end of the game, actually so fed and so lethal. But he, let's, let's remember that he started this game off with one hand tied behind his back. Genji with a huge comeback win here. And I think that it should be celebrated. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a really good look for them. I'll have to go back to the drawing board and see what happened in game two. But other than that, win's a win. As, uh, everybody's having a lot of fun, too. It seemed like a, you know, it's one of those wins that you feel really happy about, especially because it was such a nice comeback and the, the early game did feel so helpless.